Good evening as we come on the air here in the West tonight and we begin with the breaking news. The emergency playing out on board an American Airlines flight. Reports of a man trying to break into the cockpit. Authorities say he was holding a laptop computer. F-22 fighter jets escorting the plane. The airline has now confirmed the incident on a flight from Los Angeles to Honolulu. Flight 31, the plane has landed and take a look tonight. The man was stopped, subdued, taken off the plane in handcuffs. ABC's David Curley in Washington tonight. The Department of Homeland Security is investigating. Here's what David's learned. FBI agents led the man off the American Airlines jet in Honolulu. The passenger subdued in the air after reportedly attempting to breach the cockpit. Two F-22 fighter jets escorting the passenger plane as other pilots in Honolulu were told about the unfolding incident. We're canceling the airport first right now for inbound emergency. After the man, described by one source as a foreign national, is escorted off the jet, passengers to plane and an explosives team sweeps the aircraft. One source telling ABC News the man was standing near a bathroom, waiting with a laptop. When asked to sit down by a flight attendant, he tries to get into the cockpit and was subdued with his laptop confiscated. The heightened concern coming as the U.S. considers expanding the laptop ban. Nothing bigger than a mobile phone can be carried on a plane headed to the U.S. from 10 Middle Eastern and African airports. U.S. intelligence believing ISIS has figured out how to hide explosives in laptops, like the one that put a hole in the Somali jetliner. The U.S. is considering extending that laptop ban to many European airports. In tonight's incident, a suspicious item, possibly that laptop, is now being analyzed. David? David Curley in Washington. David, thank you. ABC senior national correspondent Matt Gutman is in Honolulu at the airport tonight. And Matt, passengers on board that flight witnessing a disturbing scene. That's right, David. I spoke to passengers here at the airport. They said that they saw a man before the flight takeoff with this laptop opening and closing it. He was sitting in first class. A flight attendant escorted him to the back of the plane. Then halfway through the flight, he tried to make his way again to the front of the plane towards first class. He was blocked. These eyewitnesses say by a flight attendant with a beverage cart. Another passenger got up and blocked him. They escorted him back to his seat. He was restrained somehow with duct tape or zip cuffs, something like that. And making everything sink in even more, those F-22s flying by those passengers, bringing the plane back down to Honolulu here. David. Again, no word on a motive, but the reason this alerted authorities on that flight was because the man was waiting near the bathroom, we are told, and with that laptop amid those concerns over laptop computers on flights all over the world. Matt Gutman, David Curley, our thanks to both of you. As we